Hello, this is Matt Britton from Google talking to you from London. And first, I wanted to congratulate you on the amazing floating headquarters in Rotterdam. I don't know about you. I feel like I've been floating in the cloud in the virtual world for a while and look forward to seeing many in Glasgow for COP26. We love the Netherlands. We have wind farms like Kramer in Zeeland. Uh, our data center in Groningen and the sustainable water work we're doing there is pioneering stuff which we implement all around the world. Um, but from our standpoint, I guess it's really clear that governments, companies like ours and communities have to come together uh, to tackle the challenges and the opportunities ahead of us. Google, uh, when I joined in 2007, is uh, it became carbon neutral and uh, in 2017 we moved to have all of our electricity consumption matched with renewables and last year in 2020 we pledged to move to being carbon zero by 2030 24 7 so already today every time you search every time you use gmail every time you look at a route on google maps watch a youtube video or use google cloud at work or at home you know that it's already uh, carbon neutral and we want it uh, to move to being carbon free in the next 10 years and that's going to require a lot of innovation and collaboration. Uh, we also know that climate change is going to require action on a global scale across governments, companies and communities and having reached that 50-50 moment where half the planet is online for the first time and the remainder are coming quite quickly and having seen the potential of the AI revolution that's now underway, these two things can come together and be incredibly helpful tools. A couple of examples um, from practical experience, flooding affecting a quarter of a billion people around the world, tens of billions of economic impact. AI today, already we're working on hyperlocal models that can forecast and get better at giving people advanced warnings, partnering with governments in India, Bangladesh and elsewhere to reach those people who are in the um, most at risk areas because those people are often and increasingly connected and because of the AI revolution, we can give better predictions to more people directly uh, in a way that can make a huge difference or wildfires, AI and satellite imagery is working together on detection and to predict spreading. These are kind of a couple of examples of ways in which we can impact together. I can talk more about the impact of AI on supply chains and understanding how to reduce waste and improve uh, the economic sustainability of many of the things we rely on today. But to now, uh, I just wanted to say thank you for bringing us uh, all together. Congratulations uh, on what you're doing. And I look forward to that partnership between communities and companies and government, uh, innovation uh, and connection at the heart of what we do. Thank you.